Me Walsh, and I've been a part of the Devil's Tale for the past six semesters, and I've had the privilege to be editor of this broadcast team for the last two. We've got a great show for you all. Hi, I'm senior Lauren Meadows. I have been the managing editor for the Devil's Tale for the past two years, and today I'm here with senior Rory Murphy, who is one of the 16 seniors to receive summa cum laude. Rory, how did you feel when you found out that you are one of the 16 students that earned summa cum laude? I was very excited. So since this is the first year that we're not doing a valedictorian or sal uh, salutatorian, um, it's very exciting that summa cum laude is able to honor everyone's hard work that has been able to achieve a cumulative GPA of 4.2 or above. So I know myself has put in a lot of hard and exhausting work, and I'm sure all of my other classmates have as well. So I'm very excited that everyone was able to have this honor. Well, that's so exciting. What did you do throughout high school that helped you achieve this honor? Um, I'll be honest, it wasn't always easy. Um, <laughs> I took a lot of honors classes, CCP, um, AP, just as many of my other classmates did. And what helped the most was obviously time management, working ahead in courses and classes that I know assignments fell through the cracks. But I can probably speak for everyone else when I say that having a good support system is always definitely what gets you through. <laughs> Are you excited to give the speech for the class of 2020? Yeah, I'm very excited and happy that um, Mr. Householder decided to give everyone who wanted to speak the opportunity to do so. So the original plan was that we would have a speak off between those who had the honor and decided to present a speech. So myself, Amelia McCauley, Marin Montgomery and Emily Tran will all be sharing our life lessons from high school with you guys at the, uh, the graduation ceremony viewing. Would you be willing to give the viewers a sneak peek of what you'll be saying in the graduation video? I can't spill too much, but <laughs> <laughs> I know that it'll include a little bit about high school, what we've all been going through now with this current situation, and just a positive vibe all around. <laughs> well, thank you, Rory. Thank you for being willing to come and speak on the broadcast today. Okay. I'm going to turn it over to Mia Walsh now, who is interviewing Miss Stewart. Yes, I'm interviewing. I'm here interviewing Assistant Principal uh, Jen Stewart. So, Mrs. Stewart, Hi. what can students do? <laughs> oh, sorry. What can students do to best prepare for next year? And does administration have any words of advice? Uh, well, obviously, there's a lot up in the air about next year and what that's going to look like. I know a lot of questions and anxiety have come about, especially from Dewine's press conference earlier in the week where he said for districts to prepare for, um, you know, a schedule that doesn't look like a traditional one. He offered the example of a two, two days a week um, where students were in the building and things like that. And it got a lot of people spinning, especially as they, you know, read different media outlets about what does that look like? How does that affect me as, you know, a parent with my children and my employment, what does that, how does that affect me as an educator and how I prepare for the fall and things like that. So there's been a lot of um, worry uh, uh, that concerns all of that, um, which is completely understandable. I mean, I'm a human being and, I, and I've had all of those same thoughts and, and worries as well. Um, so first and foremost, I'd say the best thing to do to prepare students and families and community for those decisions that will be made here by the governor is that not to not to to worry about things that we don't know yet obviously you know there's going to be decisions we're kind of at the mercy of number one covid the pandemic and and how you know how many people will be infected diagnosis tests vaccines things like that but we're also at the mercy of the decisions that governor dewine makes with dr acton and the way, you know, the guidance that we'll receive from the state. I, I'd like to reassure um, our families, our students, our staff and things as well that, you know, decisions that are made locally by our school district, by Mr. Ferguson and our central office and then building administrators, you know, first and foremost, safety is the, is the utmost concern for staff and students as we re-enter some kind of schedule. I've never sat in a meeting where the question hasn't been asked. How are the decisions we make here going to affect our students, our families, and our staff? And so I can I I I guarantee that those questions will continue to be asked. You know, we're going to be put in challenging situations. I know that. 
um, but we're going to try to make the best de decisions we can for our students and our families. Definitely, definitely. Um, a lot of information has gone up for seniors in the past couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Is there any information that mm -hmm. underclassmen should know? And is there any other general information that we should know as we bring the school year to a close? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've been sending at the, at the high school, we've been sending a Monday memo via email to all of our parents um, to try to keep them in the loop of new things that are going on, uh, schedule, schedule things, timelines. Um, we're going to be sending out quite a bit of information on Monday that has to do with the end of the semester as it wraps up. Um, a schedule is going to be put out for collecting of textbooks and school issued materials, as well as how we're going to be distributing things like items that were left in lockers, um, athletics information, you know, there's winter awards that are out, spring pictures, things like that, how those things are going to be distributed. Um, you know, we need to do our best to make sure that we can um, receive the things that we need to and get all of the items and things we need to to families without having people in the building. So we've we've really tried hard to put a schedule together that will maintain that goal um, and keep everyone safe. So really, if they have if, if people haven't read the Monday memo, uh, make sure that they're doing so. We'll also blast that out to all of our student emails. I know Mr. Householder is planning on doing a robocall um sunday night so you know that that'll come across there as well a big one for the seniors though is that pickup that's going to be happening next thursday and friday um that's going to be happening uh from 12 to 5 and students we're gonna <laughs> i know it's a weird weird way to <laughs> symbolism of this one but it's going to be like a fast food drive-through we're going to have you guys come in your cars roll right up to the front entrance. We're gonna have people there with radios giving your name. And that's when you can turn in all of your things that you have and where we're going to be handing out anything from graduation materials like yard signs, caps and gowns, cords, guidance information, but you're also gonna get immunization reports, athletics, um, things just like I discussed with the underclassmen, um, senior sponsor baskets and, and locker locker items so there's going to be a lot going on but we're just going to have people roll in in their cars have that exchange and then roll roll out so it's going to be interesting but we think it's the most efficient and safest way to get every everyone what they need all right well thank you so much again that was You're welcome. that was assistant principal jen stewart and this is our final show of the year so lauren and i would like to close by thanking all teachers and administration, especially Principal Mike Householder and Assistant Principal Jen Stewart, who are working very hard to keep things working at school. We would also like to thank Ms. Hedrick, who is our journalism advisor, and Ms. Stazak. These two women have put on a lot of the events that have been going on, and we would like to thank you for keeping our senior year moving along. And finally, thank you to Mr. Ferguson and all others who are making tough decisions. We know your interest is with us students, and we thank you for that. Once again, I am Mia Walsh. And I'm Lauren Meadows. Signing off. Make good choices, Talmadge.